Here comes another three game week in the championship. Up first, round nine. Let's get in with my bold predictions. One, something to cheer about. Our three sets of supporters who have had to wait the longest time to see a win are Stoke, five without a win, Coventry, six, and Sheffield Wednesday, who haven't won all season. That is eight games without a win. What chance, something to cheer about then this weekend. We'll kick off with Wednesday, who will be covering on the watch along for their Friday night home clash with Sunderland. The other two are on the road on Saturday. Stoke head off to Bristol City and Coventry go to QPR. Obviously, we're talking three out of form sides here, so it's very easy to predict more misery, but these are bold predictions. So let's try and find some joy somewhere and we will go win, draw, lose. You will get 16 to 1 for this. I'm going Coventry to win at QPR. Stoke to draw at Bristol City. And sorry, Sheffield Wednesday to lose to Sunderland. That's at least something to cheer about. Two, chances are... Leading the way in terms of big chances created in the championship, according to Footmob, are Leeds, Leicester and Norwich all tied on 17, with Blackburn Rovers leading the way on 18 big chances created so far this season. I'm going to make the crazy leap that this is going to continue into the weekend and hopefully translate to goals, goals and more goals. Leeds head to Southampton, who have not been defending well. Norwich face Birmingham at home and the other two sides play against each other on Sunday. It's Blackburn versus Leicester. Between them, our four biggest chance makers average 1.75 goals per game. So let's see if they can beat that and score eight or more between them for two per game this weekend. But of course, that is nowhere near bold enough. Let's go goal crazy and say Leeds, Leicester, Norwich and Blackburn will all Score two or more goals in the championship this weekend. Three, red hot run. Both Ipswich and Cardiff nailed the last three game week in the championship and go into this one on somewhat of a winning streak. Cardiff have three straight wins, Ipswich have four. What are the chances of them both adding another one? Well, I know all good things come to an end, but the chances are actually not that bad. The fly in the ointment here is both sides are on the road with Ipswich heading to Huddersfield to face their new boss, Darren Moore. Cardiff are off to Rotherham, who held the previous leaders, Preston, in their last game at the New York Stadium. We are going to go all in on the double then and the winning streak to continue, but that doesn't feel quite bold enough for this show, does it? So how about this? Let's go for narrow victories in both games and say Ipswich and Cardiff to both win by a single goal in this weekend's Yorkshire away days. Four, top of the charts. We've got six players tied at the top of the championship scoring charts, all on five goals. And two of them go head to head this weekend at the MKM, where Hull City play Plymouth Argyle. It is Aaron Connolly for Hull and Ryan Hardy for Argyle, both in superb form. Ten goals total for the pair of them, but only one double means that between them they've actually scored in nine championship games already this season. In fact, there's only one round this campaign where neither player has scored. Round seven, the midweek round last week. Now, of course, it seems the most obvious thing in the whole universe to predict a Connolly and Hardy double. So let's do the exact opposite and for the two goal poachers to actually be shut out during this head-to-head. -head. I'm boldly saying that for only the second of the first nine rounds in the championship, neither Aaron Connolly of Hull or Ryan Hardy of Plymouth will score, and the goals are going to have to come from elsewhere. Five, the exact opposite. There are three games we haven't mentioned yet. That would be Millwall versus Swansea, Preston versus West Brom, and Watford versus Middlesbrough. I don't know how you feel, but these all seem reasonably closely matched to me, although one of them seems to have much more potential for goals than the other two. We've got two of the more pragmatic managers involved in Rauer and Corbron, who served us up a nil effing nil when they met at the weekend. Preston's 
defensive numbers have been very good also. The Watford Borough game feels like it has a little bit more potential to get loose. So let's say the following. We are going to go under 1.5 goals in both Millwall versus Swansea and Preston versus West Brom. And just to make up for that, we'll go for a big Val, Michael Carrick special, over 3.5 goals in Watford versus Borough. Don't tell me that's not bold. 30 to 1, if you fancy that one. And there you have it, our latest round of bold predictions. Get involved in the comments with your thoughts on what I've said, or better still, with your own thoughts. If you want some more scientific predictions, we did go through the championship card last night on the Championship Check-In podcast with Sam Parking. Click here to see that show, and click here for my latest Going Down video, where you'll see some very familiar names from last season's championship, sadly occupying the relegation positions up in the Premier League.